Finishing up this month, Aaron Bruner will treat us to his interview with Theodore Saul, an award-winning photographer in San Jose, California. Ted Saul has spent the last 30 years as a photojournalist documenting social and, and political events in the Bay Area. Although best known for his involvement with the gay and lesbian community, he also covered the anti-nuclear demonstrations at the Lawrence Livermore Radiation Laboratory and the farm labor strikes that occurred during the 1970s. Got a good book out about that too. He sure does. The Ted Saul Papers is one of the archival collections displayed at San Jose's new Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Library. This collection of approximately 6,000 photographs and negatives provides a continuous documentary of the South Bay gay and lesbian community from 1977 to 2001. Now that's enough to look at my mind running wild. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> it's September and it's back to school and at my own personal college's library, the San Jose State University Library, my guest, return guest, Ted Saul, longtime photojournalist, has his archives, the Ted Saul archives, 6,000 photos uh, of the homosexual community in the Santa Clara County. Uh, Ted, he is come today to talk about his photos and to talk about his book also, From Closet to Community. I want to welcome you back to Outlook Video. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for inviting me. You are a straight man who has, uh, for 30 years, followed the gay community uh, and taken photos, and, uh, and now we have an archive to go visit and to go see our history. Tell us what has inspired you. That's true. I am hopelessly heterosexual. but. Um, <laughs> In the early 70s, um, I was involved uh, almost 20 years uh, re reporting the anti-nuclear movement, trying to shut down Lawrence Livermore Lab, trying to uh, stop Diablo from opening up. The first thing that I noticed in San Jose was the gay community caused an awful lot of trouble because they received a gay pride proclamation from Mayor Janet Gray Hayes, and uh, the moral majority just went berserk sent 800, uh, 800 uh, Christians to City Hall, uh, a couple hundred gays uh, appeared, and everybody was screaming at everybody. Well, go on San Jose. That's my hometown, and that sounds like a San Josean. <laughs> well, because, because I've uh, been working all through those years documenting my time and recording life in general, I said to myself, boy, that's right up my alley. I'm going to have to check it out. Why don't we talk about some of your new work that you brought. Uh, we have a couple photos to show. Let's start with the first one, and it's the Break the Silence photo. I really like this one. This is kids. They're like walking the streets saying that they're gay and they're young and, uh, you know, claiming their identity. Tell us uh, how you feel about that. This is a, a truly historical photograph because in the 70s, you never saw teenagers or senior citizens either one, either couple, holding hands in San Jose. This is a group of uh, teens from, from 13 to 30 who uh, meet at the Billy the Frank Center. And they decided that they were going to go down to a park in um, San Jose and break the silence of the closet. And they were not going to be silent anymore. So they got up individually, a lot, about uh, 50, 50 kids, and they testify in public how they came out of the closet to parents. Wow. We have a photo of the Vietnamese community. Unbelievable people. Uh, and in this city, it is uh, truly a historical photo. Marching under a banner uh, and uh, saying how proud they were to be gay or lesbian or transgender. You know, we have a picture dating San Jose, San Jose's past, and it's so interesting, these people on crucifixes. In San Jose, the Gay Pride Proclamation issued the Christian Church, brought out 40,000 uh, voters and crushed the ordinance, and it was a, uh, designed to stop discrimination against gays and lesbians. And wow. that is the result, liberty and justice for whom? I got one more to talk about, and this is San Francisco Pride 1978. We got pictures of Hitler, burning crosses, and who's the lady in the middle? Anita Bryant. She went to Dade County, Florida, and had a gay ordinance that would ban discrimination against. She had it killed. Your book, From Closet, From Closet to Community, is out, and I wanted to thank you for coming on our show. 
All right, Outlook video, check it out. Check out the San Jose State uh, Library and uh, enjoy the archives. Thank you for coming on, Ted. Thank you. If you would like to write to us here at Outlook Video, the address is Outlook Video, P.O. Box 390996, Mountain View, California, 94039-0996. To contact us by telephone, call 408-293-3040, extension 205. Or you can send email to comments at outlookvideo.org. To learn more about Outlook Video and to get a list of our air dates and times, point your web browsers to outlookvideo.org. Thanks to all of you viewers who joined us. And don't forget to remind your friends about Outlook Video. To close out our month's program, we have more from the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival. We close with another scene from the Audience Award for Best Feature Film, Fair Newton. Thank you, and be sure to join us again next month. On behalf of all the dedicated volunteers of Outlook Video, whose names you will see as we close, thanks for watching. <laughs>